So on AFC RD TV, it's the home season opener here at Hayden Road. A decisive win for Diamonds. AFC Russian Diamonds 5, Layston 1. And the man of the match is uh, the man I call NGT, Nat Gosnell Tyler. Nat, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, did you enjoy that game tonight? Yeah, it looked like, yeah, it was great. It uh, seems like eight. <laughs> Seems like ages ago, though, but uh, Layston did take an early lead in the 22nd minute. A lovely uh, cross by Lawrence, and then Blake put the ball in the net. What were your thoughts at that point of the game? Um, I thought we was always on top, to be fair, so I didn't have no doubt that we'd get back into the game. So um, just a bit of a shock, really. But yeah, it's early on, so we had a lot of the game left. So I'm sorry I'm a pessimist, I guess, because I thought Diamonds would be trailing at halftime 1-0, but sure enough, in the last five minutes, we scored two quick goals, uh, Collard with his first league goal for Diamonds, and then Tom Lorraine uh, shanks with a goal in the 44th minute. What do you think of those two goals? Uh, well, we've worked on them in training, so I have no doubt that we would put loads of balls in the box and the boys would get on the end of them, so, so yeah. Obviously, the momentum, uh, the momentum with Diamonds at halftime, now leading 2-1. Yeah. So uh, what was uh, Pixie's words to the lads at halftime? Just literally just carry on how we're doing it. it. Just the only thing is that we just didn't probably get enough shots off in that half, but we dominated play. So he just said carry on as the same and it will come, and it did. So, yeah. Very good. Are you comfortable with the uh, formation? I think the same um, as uh, last Saturday, a 3-5-2. It's, uh, it's new to me, I'm trying to adapt to it. I usually play a bit more higher, but... I said I'm, I'm happy to put a shift in for the lads, so I've come up a few levels, so I'm more than happy to uh, give it a go, but I'll work on it, I'll work on the defensive side, that's where my weakness sort of is. But, Generally, um, are you usually a midfielder? I'm usually like high, high wide, so I've got right player, to go. but um, yeah, so we'll work on that. And then uh, the goals came flying in in the second half, goals by Lorraine again, Aquai and Hixie in the 80th minute, so you had to feel great about that, oh, play yeah. really, everyone thing was flowing in the second half. Yeah, great, great result to be fair. And uh, Ben um, has been getting in great positions. And to be fair, I'm happy for him to score as well. So, well, very good. That was his first well, so. first goal for Diamonds. Uh, Keys, though, uh, gets a straight red card in the 78th minute. And things seem to go pear-shaped for Layston after that. Got, I think we got a bit lazier towards the last sort of 10 minutes, to be fair. When we knew they were down to 10 men, um, sort of took our foot off a little bit. But the game was done then, so... Sure. Thankfully, uh, yeah. not as many uh, yellow cards as Saturday's match. No, nah, <laughs> no, we only got one, didn't we? Is it Ben, is it? Uh, uh, just uh, uh, one yeah, yellow ben. in the first half. Well, there we go. Uh, tell us a little bit about your previous history, playing career, um, before coming to Diamonds. But it's been a bit of a roller coaster <laughs> this uh, preseason. I started off at Russian Iron, and then uh, I went to Wellingborough Town, had a few games there, and then Corby Town got in contact with me. Had a few games, of, well, I had one game at Corby Town. And then Diamonds contacted from that after having a good game. So a few games with Diamonds and then, yeah, down there now. So it's, well, been, it's been a bit of a roller coaster and just trying to settle in now. So hopefully uh, start some good. So. Well, it's a great start to the season. Yeah. Two wins on the trot. Yeah. Kind of uh, very good. That. My standard question for new players, uh, who was maybe one of your favorite players growing up as a kid and which team did you support? Um, uh, I was putting you in favourite player growing up. Oh, um, Man U? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the Red Devils. Yeah, well, they Red had a good Devils. win over, who was it, Chelsea over the weekend? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and favourite player, maybe? Probably yeah. Ronaldo and Giggs. Probably has been a winger. Oh, so. you can't go wrong with Giggsy. Nah, so, yeah. Long-time player for Man U as well. Yeah. Well, very good. You got a oh. tough match, though, Saturday. Nuneaton Borough, maybe one of the favourites to be uh, promoted this season. Early thoughts about that game? To be honest, I don't know a lot about any of the teams in here, so I've just oh. got to do what i got to do. So. Uh, they were relegated last season, so they're like I said, they're one of the favourites maybe to go um, straight back up. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not really bothered about any team playing as long as I do what I do on the pitch. And well, that's happy in the team had perform, a couple so. of great games so far, especially tonight. Thanks for your All time. Right. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, Bruce and Nats. I'm now here with uh, manager Andy Peaks and uh, a new uh, coach, head coach, Neil Champlovia. Neil, welcome to AFC RDTV. Um, we'll Good. start with the manager, if you don't mind. Of course. We had a good win on Saturday. I mean, five one, two wins. Um, you're not top of the league, actually, but never mind. Um, you must be very pleased. Yeah, no, we're delighted how we've started. Um, like I said, we're not top, but it's irrelevant at the moment. It's about getting six points. Uh, but it was good for me because Saturday was a different game where you got it was conditions were difficult, and we sort of dug it out and won it with some set pieces. But tonight I thought we were excellent from the first minute right through to the 90th. Um, even having a little setback of going a goal behind against the run of play, they stuck to the task. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was, it's nice to get three points at home. Um, we did well at home last year, but for me, we drew too many games. Games like tonight, possibly. 
Um, and I think it was good. I think anyone who came tonight must have been excited because we looked really good going forward. Neil, first impressions, two games in. Um, how do you feel tonight went? I thought tonight was brilliant. I mean, we, we started really well. Probably goal went against the winner play. Uh, certainly did anyway. Um, uh, but we, you know, we stuck in there. We talked before the game about work rate, um, and we talked about you know keeping our shape, and then, and they did that magnificently, and we got back in it two one at half time. Um, second half, those bits and pieces that, that we discussed at half time. But I said to them at the end, like they've listened so well. You know, I've had one session with them on Thursday. We had Saturday's game, and I haven't had a great, great amount of time. But they, what we've told them, they've listened to really, really well, and um, you know, and they're picking up on that. And I think that second half performance kind of showed that. Um, so yeah, really, really, really pleased. Well, Andy will tell you my tactical knowledge is zero, but uh, <laughs> we do seem to be playing the ball in a lot earlier um, yeah. with that team and getting the ball forward quicker. Well, that you know, that for me, I've always kind of been on the front foot. What we've always done, what I've always done, and pressed and stuff like that. And we've said, we've said to them, maybe we need to do a little bit more in the, in the final third and be a little bit more incisive, and maybe get the ball forward a little bit quicker at times. Um, but you know, as, as I said to the lads last Thursday as well, there's no, there's nothing that we need to fix here. We had a good season last year, you know, and there's a good set of players, and they're, they're very, very much the same set of players that had last year. Um, just little bits and pieces, finer details, that's it. And that's all we've talked about and that's all we've worked on. Um, and like I said, I've listened brilliantly um, and that's been that showed tonight, I think. We talked about uh, set pieces. The three centre halves have all scored the first three goals of the season, just shows, doesn't it? And uh, we got the first two goals again tonight, got us back in the game again from set pieces. Yeah, I've said that, I've said that a lot. We didn't do enough on it probably last year at times, or the delivery wasn't good enough. And we haven't done loads yet because, like Neil says, he's only been here for one session. We did work on them, but we are going to keep working on them because we've got some big boys, and we've shown tonight we've got some players who can put good quality in. It doesn't matter. You know, in tighter games, you need set pieces, and they, I think they certainly won the game Saturday, and they certainly got us back in it tonight. So that's important. Um, and like I said, we're, we're looking exciting. Um, you know, some of the boys are playing out the skins, some of the new ones, some that have been here before. Um, you know, we've played a three-five-two. People thought it might be negative, but I think it shows if you've played people in the right areas and you give them the belief to go and get forward, it, it can be attractive as well. And it was that tonight, and it, I mean, it must have been exciting for most people because it certainly was for us. And the three uh, new players, well, I know Ben Akai came in the end of last season, Matty Slane and of course Nat who got man of the match, uh, they've settled in well and really pushed it on the front foot, didn't they? Yeah, no, they've been, they've been great additions to the squad, uh, as some of the others will be when they get the chance, but they've not got that chance yet, but them three have, they've took the shirts, so Matty's a young kid, he's, I thought he was good Saturday, I thought he was even better tonight, his decision making was good and he's a holding midfielder but he always looks to go forward, um, Nat gives you so much pace and he likes to whip the ball in and, and Ben to be fair he's, he likes playing the hole, he's learning the role, he's got a goal in him, he's going to make mistakes from time to time and make the wrong decision because they're, they're young kids and we've, we've got to be okay with that, we want them to be down, we want them to take risks in certain areas because then things happen and I think that happened tonight. But Ben's a player who gets bums on seat doesn't he with that uh, fourth goal, cracking goal. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what he's all about. And sometimes he's going to put him over the stand like that. And we've got to take that aboard. But when he hits it like that and he scores, you know, he's looked a threat all through pre-season. Sam, we've got others. Sam Johnson's away. You, you can go through. You've got Faz not here. You've got various others. And you've got Maz who's not managed to get minutes again tonight because of what's happened with Collard late on. So for me, it's great. We've got competition for places all over. Um, yeah, fantastic start. Neil, just ask you about uh, where, what you've done. I know you had the spells at Daventry. Um, where were you last season or is this, you're back into football? I'm back into football, so I had kind of the year off last year. Before that, um, I spent most of my coaching and my assistant manager time at, at Daventry. You know, we were fairly successful, we had good cup runs, you know, FA Cup, we got to the FA Cup first round and played Chesterfield away and, you know, we had we had a, a decent side, so to speak, and there's quite a few of them that are over here now. So <laughs> I know you know I've, Bully. I've, I've, I've known Bully well anyway, but yeah, so there's quite a few that I've worked with um, that are in the squad. So that's made the transition, I suppose, and coming in so late easier um, and I kind of know what, what I'm about I suppose and I've taken that on board and it's been good, it's been quite a, quite, a, quite an easy transition really. And the keeper and Ben, he seems to be on his toes doesn't he? Yeah, no, I, I spoke to Ben and Niall at the weekend before I made a choice and that was probably the toughest decision we had in the team if I'm being honest. Um, certainly one of the toughest because I've got Niall in to put pressure on Ben and he certainly did that in pre-season. It, it could have gone either way. I, I gave Ben the jersey because I owed him that for being so good the last couple of years with the odd little blip here and there which keepers have. Uh, but Ben's reacted superbly to it. He's trained better, his attitude's good and he's had some good games as well. So, you know, it's nice for me to have Niall sitting there waiting his chance because, again, he's an excellent keeper and it just shows you've got competition all around the team. You can go for every position and we've got someone waiting to come into that position which is exactly what we want. 
And finally, uh, Tom, he was uh, stuck, wasn't he, last season? In the last few games, I think he was. He wore him out actually because he was played so many games and worked so hard. Couldn't get couldn't get going. And two goals tonight, he's back on running again. Nearly that hundred goals. We know what Shanks is all about. He'll never tell me he wants to come off because he keeps going and going and going. And yeah, I probably flogged him a little bit too much last year because he scored such a lot of goals for us. He then had the baby as well. Or, well, his wife did. Um, but <laughs> obviously, that played a part. And he's, he's you know he's tired a little bit. Um, and in the end, he couldn't score a goal. But he's had a good breather. He rolled his ankle pre-season had a bit longer than he wanted but he's come back in he's hit the ground running but then Jack's come back a lot fresher I think they've been a massive handful bef between them hence I've got Maz sitting on the bench and Dovey who are both waiting for a chance and we know they're going to deliver as well it's just when they get their opportunity I know you uh, only look at next games after the, the current game so we'll look ahead to Saturday um, big team coming Nuneaton Eatonbury got relegated they obviously spent a bit and got a manager you know well from Barwell um, any thoughts for Saturday and that it's going to be a different uh, different type of game than the first two? Yeah, I think so. I mean, everyone uh, quite fancied the neat, and I don't think they've done great. I know they've been in a great Saturday, but they played a good team in Kings Langley. So it's it's all very false. Um, so I went and watched the game last night, Stalbridge and Stratford, and they're all can be false this time of year because teams are finding the way. All I'm worried about is us. I think it's a fantastic game for us to have. The Neaton Borough coming here. Why not? Third game of the season with six points behind us, playing at home with the confidence we've got in the group. Great game to have. Like I say, it's going to be tough, but they're the sort of challenges we want. Neil, uh, final question for you. Um, any thoughts? Any predictions for this season? How do you see? How do you see the season going? I, I can't do that. I can't give predictions. <laughs> all, all you know, all, all we do know is that you know the lads will give 100 percent every week, um, and that's what we're trying to instill in them. Um, Peaksy team's always done that anyway. As I say, it's just um, some little finer details that are going to help. I think you know the way that we start. It's been a brilliant start. Um, we're not getting carried away. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good start and that's what we wanted, wasn't it? You know, six points out of six, you can't, you can't argue. As uh, Gaff has just said, going into Saturday's game, we're, we'll be underdogs. You know, they've, they've spent a lot of money, got some big players in. Um, so it's one to look forward to for the players. It'll be one to look forward to for the home fans as well, I'm sure. Um, I know the lads will put on a performance um, and if they don't, they'll certainly work hard um, and that is what we're all about. So we'll see. And I'll take one of your cup runs from Daventry. I think we would as well, wouldn't we? So greedy, John. We've got six <laughs> points. Can we not just enjoy that? Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Cheers. Neil. Hope Thank to you. speak to you again later in the season. Thank you. Cheers.